Core to Cloud. Okay, everyone, welcome to the weekly Jenkins Infrastructure Team Meeting. We are the 31 of May 2022. Today we have uh, myself, Damien Duportal, Bruno Brarton, Stéphane Merle, Tim Yacombe, and Hervé Lemeur. Um, let's get started with announcements. Um, it seems that the weekly has been delayed due to test issue on the process. I haven't checked more in details, but uh, Alexander uh, mentioned that on the IRC channel for the releases. So that might be delayed uh, of a few hours. I haven't seen anything related to the infrastructure on that area on the error message. That might be, but first sight, uh, no agent issue, no controller issue. Um, delay, it seems to be test issues. Second announcement, uh, the outages on the virtual machine hosting the update center and the package for Jenkins core seems to be finally terminated. It's been uh, 24 hours without incident on that machine. Uh, so yes, so summary, when you try to automate a virtual machine that hasn't been automated since two years, read carefully the documentation of all the flags of Puppet Agent. The flag dash dash test does not test the run of the Puppet Agent. It applies the configuration. If you want a dry run to a diff, you need to also add the no op flag. If I would have known that, I would have avoided a lot of pain during the past the past days. However, it fixed, so sorry for everyone. On updates.jenkins.io and pkg.jenkins.io. Um, so there are details and post-mortem that will be done on uh, the issue. Yes, 28. 88. Uh, many thanks for the external contributor and team also for the support and everyone involved uh, on any uh, for being solving that issue. Uh, third announcement that will be uh, we already have an issue to track that, but that's important. The certificate of the update center um, expires in two weeks. Five hours ago the jobs in charge of generating the JSON started failing due to, the, to that error, while the crawler failed since two or three weeks. So Stefan and I, we started on the renewal of that certificate. There are things that we don't understand on the private repository hosting that. So the readme might not up to date. So we need help from Daniel or Olivier to understand what's going on. The core of the issue is that it seems that since last year, there are two certificates, one used by the crawler job and one by the update center job on uh, trusted CI. There are two zips, the update center keys and um, associated uh, cert file are the same, but the full certificates uh, associated to these keys seems to be different between two jobs. We are not sure which one should be the correct and if we could only generate one. So we will need help uh, today or yesterday because it's impacting the plugin release. We don't have any plugin release since it's failing. Uh, I don't know, Tim, if you're at ease with that part or not. I assume, I assume not, but maybe if you <laughs> ever tried. The, the readme is good. As uh, Stefan can confirm, we have the open SSL commands. The only issue is, uh, be sure, being sure which certificate is which, which key is which, uh, which is complicated. No, I've never done it before. I think only Olivier and Costa K. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, and Tyler, but yeah, Tyler and Costa K didn't touch that repository since 2017. So Daniel and Olivier are our last chances. Uh, without answer, we will. I will try to generate certificate and run an update center locally on my machine. Uh, that will take a few hours, <laughs> but at least I will sh I will be sure. It should uh, be only three options, so at least we can try 
the three of them and make sure which one is working. Yes. Yeah, fair. Um, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't need to run a full update seem to run. You can filter it to just a single plugin or something. Oh, yes, true. Or only the past changes from the last hours. Yes, correct. Uh, yeah, it should, should be like a minute or less. Yeah. And then you can point Jenkins at your file if you just run it on a local web server or something, or even file paths maybe. Point. And then you can check that it accepts the signature. You can do a dodgy one and then a working one. Okay, that's all for announcement for me. Do you have other announcements, folks? Nope, okay. Let's get started. Thanks for the, I don't know who updated the links, but many thanks. Step one, what did we finish during the past iteration? Um, depreciation of on-call handles monitors. Um, so that was a page duty slash data dog related uh, issue. Uh, thanks, survey for that part. So it appears that we were using the deprecated feature and the new one, which integrates Datadog to PagerDuty. Um, so it was only a matter of removing the annotation at on call whatever from the Terraform definition that manage the Datadog monitors. We saw, I, I can guarantee that we saw issues during the past days on the update center and uh, we received emails. So that means that it worked perfectly. Um, and access to the Jenkins VPN uh, for Vincent. That access wasn't required in the end because he had the, the needs to trigger releases on the remoting component. It seems that uh, it's not required and Mark took care of everything that was missing. Uh, but still, uh, uh, since Vincent is also the main one of the main maintainers of the Kubernetes plugin, it's quite useful to have him being able to access our infrastructure, especially if we need to test or diagnose Kubernetes elements, uh, because the VPN allows him to access CI Jenkins IO. Um, so certificate expired for pkg.jenkins.io. It's one of the part of the outage that I'd mentioned earlier. Uh, so for that one, the enabling puppets last Friday on that virtual machine, it hasn't been run since two years. And as I said, uh, it broke the certificates. So uh, th there has been a quick fix, but it took a few hours to get to this. So that's one of the free outages for that machine. Many thanks for the contributor who notified us. Google domain verification. Uh, it's, so on that area, I saw a message from Gavin, but I didn't cook since it's closed. Okay, so the domain stories Jenkins IO has been verified. There were an issue between the C name that cannot, you cannot have a C name and a TXT report, if I understand correctly. I don't know which method uh, Gavin did in the end. And I confirmed that I received an access to the Google console. Um, I can give access. Who there is interested or should have access? Raise your hand. Yep, team. Okay, uh, so Tim and I, I will hide Mark also as backup. Uh, okay, so for that one, it's closed. Can we add, uh, for the person taking notes, can I ask you to add this on the to-do uh, next milestone? Add access uh, to Google console for uh, Mark and Tim, please. So I don't forget. Update center, plugin in stable. So Stefan and I worked on that. Uh, I try to work always with someone else for to not be the only person fixing the incident. So Stefan, thanks for the help around the Apache configuration. We had You're some welcome. head scratches about how the heck that the piece of software is working. <laughs> the answer is we still don't know, but we try to guess. And we guessed right because uh, it seems that the machine is um, uh, we don't have alerts anymore. So not only we fix the issue, but we improve the situation from the four past months where we regularly had alerts on update Jenkins IO. 
the main part is being able to handle enough workers process that are able after five or six hours to keep serving requests without being in a weird state. Uh, so it's a matter of handling between the people have connection, the amount of threads, the amount of processes, the amount of parallel simultaneous connection, etc. Um, but now it seems we have some margin. Just a note, we cooked that the virtual machine seems to be located and pinned to an EC2 hypervisor, which is in poor state. We have a lot of uh, CPU still on that machine. And except changing um, to the category of just the one upper or the one lower in size, we cannot change the, the CPU mainline. We cannot move to another hypervisor. I assume that that machine is really, really old and it's, in, and it's weird. It's using a EC2 line of category instance, which is 2013 generation. So we cannot benefit from the latest uh, network and we are not able to migrate it. So the only solution is either we use the, we create a snapshot and start a brand new machine and provision it and move everything. So if we have to do that on EC2, better to do it on Oracle. Uh, and finally, issue GitHub org readme. Can you explain, Hervé? I'm not sure I followed up so. Yes, yeah, so um, when I, uh, it's, there is a, an issue, a work in progress, where uh, not my fault uh, asked uh, to, to verify uh, our uh, domain and uh, to get uh, the domain approved uh, i had to remove the um, uh, mailing list address email address uh, because it uh, it's in uh, google groups the, uh, .com uh, domain so i can't verify it and uh, i put the um, this uh, email in uh, github uh, org uh, profile readme so it's still accessible. And it was just uh, for um, this public email was just uh, for displaying in, uh, on top of the Jenkins Infra main page, home page. Nice. Clear. And it Any also, yeah. yep, sorry, it was, it was an issue, uh, uh, or something I wanted to do since some months already. So it was an opportunity to do it. It can be improved, but I think it can uh, first first uh, first uh, text. Uh, okay. For now. Seems clear for me. Any question? Okay. Let's go to the work in progress. So approval of the Jenkins IO domain on the GitHub organization. I understand it's done for Jenkins Infra. And now it has to be done on Jenkins CI. Is that correct? No, it's done on Jenkins Infra and Jenkins CI. It, uh, I've uh, pinged uh, Padek and uh, Daniel via their team, security team, to ask if they wanted to do the same on Jenkins CERT organization. OK. So I assume we keep uh, it assigned to, to you, Hervé, until the answer. Should we yeah. stop tracking it and waiting? Yeah, we can track, uh, stop tracking it. We stop tracking it so I can clear milestone on Asini and yeah, if there is an answer, you will be notified. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks a lot. Uh, crawler. Bill is failing on trusted, so that's the subject, the main priority subject in short term. We need to generate a new certificate for update center to be sure that also the updates JSON is um, is working. Um, Stefan, can I, I let you add a comment on the issue, uh, okay. saying that the JSON file are failing as well? Yes, and so so we can we can. Uh, aggregate command if needed. And of course, Stefan and I, we keep working on that one. Now it's top priority. And we'll need help from Daniel. Oh, Olivier. 
Is there any question on that part? Okay, continue. Um, deprecate EMG in favor of Docker. It's work in progress. I'm, uh, I have some tests who, who are uh, which are failing, but uh, mm -hmm. it will be fixed quickly. And okay. then I will do another uh, part, which is uh, removing uh, every trace of EMG in the pipeline library and some other repository. Okay, so your commands where you propose to create a separate task, no problem for that. That's a good idea, so we can have completed and delivered tasks. So almost there. Is my understanding correct? Yes. Okay, I've added it to the next milestone assigned to you. Any objection? No. Okay. Uh, migrate updates Jenkins IO to another cloud. So that's what I mentioned earlier. So I didn't have time to work on that one. Um, I hope I should be able to do it after the update center. Um, the goal is to spawn a, tempora, a first machine on Oracle and start adding it to the existing flow, but it won't be serving data to the end user for now. The goal is to be sure that each time the update center JSON generation is done, it will upload the files not only on the actual machine, but also on the new Oracle machine. Um, there might be a proposal on that issue. I haven't uh, written that yet, to spawn two machines to have a kind of HA. Because right now, each time we operated on the uh, Apache server and we had to restart it to apply a specific settings, we were breaking the all the Jenkins installation that we are trying to get uh, update center on that moment. So the goal is to have a poor person HA, which means one data volume mounted on both virtual machine. And so each virtual machines is only a tiny one with Apache. The goal will be to spread the load between two machines. And when we have to do maintenance, we don't break the update center for everyone. Hello, best SRO ever. <laughs> Um, I don't know if you have any question about that topic. One, two, three, okay. So we'll continue working on that one. Import and manage Oracle Cloud resource. So I propose given that it's been at least two or three iteration that we have both issues, I propose to not put the import managed on the next milestone. Um, if anyone has time and is willing to do it, then you can do it. But I won't. I don't think I will have the material time to get on this one. So I propose we delay of at least one iteration. Sounds good. Yes. Okay. Auto notify people based on service routing rules. Should we keep it uh, for the next iteration? Yep. Yeah. I uh, don't have time, but I should. Uh, I don't know. I like to keep it. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Jenkins Infra Docker image build our own Windows images. Hervé, almost there. Yeah, almost there. Almost there. Um, I have now my uh, tagging uh, working for uh, Windows image. I had uh, some problem with uh, the credential manager installed by default on Windows uh, uh, OS. Um, now I've got that, I have to, I have a progress in preparation uh, to be able to uh, to build a multiple uh, image with some there activated. Uh, currently there are nothing preventing uh, tag conflict with uh, these uh, multiple image built in parallel. And each of them taking the last tag uh, to generate the next version. So I'll add a parameter to, to add the image name in the tag. Okay. Nice work because it wasn't an easy one. PowerShell is not is a beast. Windows is another. <laughs> 
and git is another and and apache oh nothing no, no, ap ap apache, apache yeah. is easy it's easy you know you won't understand it while we know you think you will understand it and in fact you don't <laughs> that's <it. laughs> thanks a lot uh, Hervé. any question on that area should we keep it on the next uh, iteration okay cool I had one quick question on something else. Um, yes. I raised an issue on the um, rate limiting CI Jenkins IO for the Jenkins CI Docker builds. Yep. Not sure if anyone has any ideas on other things we can do there. Yes. Um, so here we are waiting for Docker, uh, Docker Inc. to promote organization to team because they already did, an, um, they promoted us to the open source program. Uh, we took that would uh, change the rate limit, but in fact not. The images of the organization that we produce are not counted on the API rate limits. So if you pull an image from Jenkins slash or Jenkins CI infra, you don't. So that action helped us to secure CI Jenkins IO. However, in the case of the Docker images, we pull official images, which are counted on API rate limits since it's the bigger bandwidth. They have to pay for that and the rate limits. So I, I had a discussion with them two weeks ago. They said they would have to wait after that long weekend because most of the, the team is in Europe. So they were, they were all out of office last week, but they are going to give us that. That, that should be okay for us because right now we have, 200, we have the right 200 uh, requests for six hours time window and we are rate limited, which means each time there is a depend about opening a few requests we are done. Yeah, I try. I tried to. I, I I followed their instructions on their documentation to get the current rate limit, and they just came back with nothing. Just, the only thing I got back was a rate limit source header. There was no rate, rate limit remaining or anything. Um, um, I don't know for today, but this weekend, uh, when was it? Friday or Saturday? Last time we had the first batch when Basil. It's when Basil opened all the Adolint uh, pull request on the Docker image, mm. and I checked and I saw that it was to zero and there were time limits a few hours. That's why I let comment. So that's the second or third time I do it, uh, and they confirmed on their own. So yeah, the alternative is uh, thinking about bringing a uh, cache having a spawning a cache on the thing is that will be a service we need to restrict that service to avoid uh, being spammed or mining bitcoins uh, it has to be ip restricted to the ip range of both azure and ec2 where we spawn the virtual machines with the docker builds so we need to spawn a registry with the caching mode um, yeah, okay. Uh, I, I'm adding that to the next milestone. I will ask uh, Hervé. He's back from holiday since today. Uh, yes, another Hervé, not this one. Uh, Hervé from Docker. Uh, because he, his manager, is uh, in holidays. I'm adding it and taking it since I'm the person in contact. Um, I will ping them. We should have something. But so, so yes, uh, I saw that and. Um, if we don't have anything uh, end of week from them, then uh, we'll try to a Docker register, a temporary Docker registry. Cool, thanks. Sounds good to you, Tim. Yep. Thanks for raising it. Add it to next milestone. Uh, Mirrors Jenkins. We can I can close it. <laughs> we did everything. There isn't any mirror brain stuff and the machine is okay. So I will just double check that I don't forget, but that should be closable. So I keep it on the current milestone and that will be closed. Um, is there any question or doubt or thing unclear on that issue? Uh, you haven't heard any issue on the mirror part from end user, I don't know if you did. Um, I saw one uh, last week, I think, but I told you and uh, they corrected. It was on their part. You know, they weren't okay. able to handle the 308 um, status code. But oh, yes. Now they can. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is it open Indiana package yep. distribution, correct? You're right. Okay. Yep. Uh, so some Linux distribution package Jenkins by themselves. 
And uh, when they try to download the WAR from the mirrors, sometimes they have a tool that doesn't follow the HTTP redirection. So most of the time they have to get the full link on get Jenkins IO. And uh, ideally they can use archives for that mm -hmm. because that's not a, I, that's not something that done often. Okay, uh, might be good to add maybe a warning or documentation somewhere. Mirror in Singapore, um, we send them the information. So now there is a runbook explaining all the elements. Um, I need you folks to check the runbook. Um, ah, no, sorry, my bad. Uh, the runbook is already merged, but as Tim, uh, you proposed that should be public documentation. So we should add that part on a public page. So we don't have to get information from a private documentation and send them to people. That should be a public link for the future. So I've opened a separated issue. Um, now, I don't know if they answered to that uh, email. I didn't saw any answer last Friday. I haven't seen, okay. Um, I'm watching that. There is no action expected on our side. They have to to run the action and send them send us the URL for the Jenkins mirror. So I propose that we re clear the milestone and then we wait for from them and we'll ping them I will ping them in two weeks. Tim, you also suggested uh, to add an issue type on the help desk for the mirror. Um, oh yeah. I, yeah. Is there, are they uh, a lot of, uh, not a lot, many uh, mirror demands like that? Um, mm, very few. Very few. Not sure uh, an issue type for this. Uh, I'm, yeah. It would clutter, not clutter, but yeah. As a type just for that, I'm not sure. Okay. I don't know. Uh, Is there anything that we can do on the upcoming milestone? I've added it to Infra Team Sync next, just in case someone has time. Um, I'm clearing the milestone for the mirror itself. Anyone willing to either hide the issue or whatever is welcome. Uh, Digital Ocean. Hervé and I uh, need to take an appointment with them to discuss. Uh, the goal, as explained last week, is to um, prepare different scenarios of uh, sponsorship needs. And based on that, they will renew or not and will negotiate. They seem quite positive to continue with us. That's a good news. Now we have to just have to do it. So um, Hervé, I'm adding you and I on this one. And we need to just take the appointment. So I'm adding it to the next milestone. Looks good. Yes. Is there any question on this one? Okay. Permanent redirect uh, stories. Is that isn't that one finished? Oh no. So we have a redirector uh, service created by Stefan on Kubernetes cluster, which works very well. Uh, that has been updated to uh, keep the context. Uh, however, it seems like that, I don't know, Mark and Alisa didn't move the C name to our infra. They tried to configure redirection. So it partially work, it's improved, but uh, yes, we should uh, take over the domain name from GoDaddy. Yeah, so the link currently doesn't redirect at all. So, uh, yeah, I it's don't, a trap I have... only in HTTP. Yeah, and it redirects okay. you to the root, yeah. Yeah, I did the same. I'm removing the milestone. I'm putting it to Team Sync next because Mark is out of office and clearly is the only person that can uh, act on this one. Stefan, I remove you from this one and I'm adding a, um, Mark to this one. Sounds good Thank to you. everyone? Perfect. I'll try to contact Alisa in private this week, just in case. 
Uh, finally, CI Jenkins IO. So that's an old issue from outage from one month and a half. Uh, I haven't heard from anyone feedback on the post-mortem, so I'm going to proceed this week to publish the post-mortem and close the issue, unless there is someone uh, who doesn't agree, but then I need uh, I need a feedback if that's the case. I said it was great. That was my feedback. Oh, I missed it then. Sorry. <laughs> my apologies. Um, so nothing to do here. Milestones, think next, almost there. Are there any issues on the infra team think next that you want to bring and maybe prioritize? Um, so there were, yep. I, I've been asked by someone to brought up the upgrade to Kubernetes 1.22, but I'm not quite sure it's um, a priority. We can, it can be uh, a little bit every day. Yeah, back to that. be in one, one big block. So proposal for this week, I'm adding it to the next milestone. Um, finish the upgrade of kubectl in Docker n file. Should have been done. Um, I think. But Nope, it's not done. Oh, yeah. Oh. Let, let me rephrase. Is it in production yet? No, it's yeah, not nope. done. <laughs> so my proposal to you is finishing upgrading kubectl on the image, because it's uh, required. Uh, close up the, the OKS, because it, I'm sure you will start the upgrade without the OKS yet. And then you can start, prepare, uh, read the change log, both of you are then, Stefan or continue or prepare it. Is that OK? And next week, we will discuss the timeline uh, depending on the outage of the week. Can you just repeat what do you uh, expect for the OKS? Nothing. You have to okay. update the issue for doing it. Good. Looks good. I'm adding into the next milestone then. Um, are there other issues that uh, you think you can work on on the next, or you think you should work on instead of another? Okay. I prefer to finish to, finish to... Or to progress on the round one. Yep, no problem. Them. That's all for me then. Uh, I'm going to finish updating the notes before publishing it. Uh, are there something else you want to say before I stop the recording? Okay, let me stop the recording. Stop screen sharing first, stop recording. <laughs>